music is passion and music is a calling. It's deeper than just something you do. It's something that you, is drawn out of you and you can't stop even if you want to stop doing it. So we wanted to um, build a company whose vision was to serve musicians because they've spent so much time serving us and making us better people and broadening our ideas and our horizons of what humanity looks like. So and especially in times like we're living in it right now, it's going to be music. It's always music. It'll be music that gets us out of this. It'll be music that unites us back together because it's something we can all agree on. It doesn't matter what you look like. You don't see music, you hear it. It connects to your soul. We absolutely love what we do. Just the sound of machines and manufacturing, the, the shop just comes to life. So a new product will start in CAD. Brad Jackson will begin to build the layout and take dimensions, uh, even start writing code for software. Um, and then once the circuit board is finalized, we get a stencil. We send the finished circuit board and the stencil to the SMD line. And there, the stencil and the circuit board will get solder paste applied to the circuit board. And once that process is finished, it goes straight to the picking place, where all the surface mount components get installed with just insane precision and accuracy. And once that's done, it goes to the reflow oven, to be cured and then hits QC. Once a circuit board is passed, it goes to the team for final assembly. They'll, they'll take all the through hole components and hand place those parts uh, and then marry an enclosure, um, a custom enclosure specifically made for that product, um, made by the metal shop. Uh, the metal shop will take raw materials like aluminum or stainless steel, mill and cut out an enclosure take that and drill and tap countersink screw holes and then they'll start to bend bend the metal into shape um, and then once you know you start to see that that pedal come together they'll add a finish to it either sandblasting or or a grain finish uh, and then the final step will be the artwork and they'll take a laser and laser engrave the artwork or or print it um, and the end result is a product that we're proud to say is made hundred percent in the USA Juan was initially hired to work in the cabinet shop. He understood when it's right. So Juan became management very quickly. When it came time to start Jackson Audio, it was just a natural, it was a natural um, decision to bring Juan in as a partner because frankly, I didn't want to work with anybody else. I knew that if I had Juan on the team, it'd be a sure thing. Nigel, when we started Jackson Audio, he was, I mean, he was in our heads from the very first conversation about Jackson Audio. We, we had worked with Nigel for years before. He had a, he had a signature amp. Uh, with Jack Snapworks, and we we've just always loved Nigel. He's awesome to work with. He's his instincts are really good, and um, so we thought, hey, we're gonna start a pedal company. Let's let's bring in someone who knows pedals really really well. It was a natural fit to bring Nigel in as a partner in the business. Yeah, he's a huge part of the company, and I wouldn't want to do it without him. Hey guys, it's Nigel Hendroff saying hi from Sydney, Australia. I'm the guitarist and the music director here at Hillsong Church, and also have a part ownership within Jackson Audio. I've known Brad and Juan and worked with them for oh, probably the good part of 10 years and um, love what we get to create together and um, got some fun things in the pipeline that we're working on. So we're excited to uh, share that with you guys in the future. We wanted to build a company that served musicians and, that's, and as of 2020, we are finally getting our feet into that market where we're working with artists and we're, we're designing products with artists and saying, okay, how can this bless your lives? How can we help build them as, as people so they continue to do the work, the important work they have to do? That is the heart behind Jackson Audio. It's incredible to get to work with just amazing guitar players, but it's really nice to be able to work together, get a prototype, mm -hmm. get something that needs tweaked on, mm -hmm. and we're able to do it quickly. Um, you know, because we, you know, manufacture everything in house, you know, we can take all these crazy and wild ideas that you know these artists have and actually put it into a pedal. It's been four years of work, but it's starting to happen, and it's the most gratifying thing to work with people like Joey Landreth or Mateus Asato that you, you genuinely love as human beings. Forget that they're musicians. They're wonderful human beings. 
and we get to be a part of blessing their lives and helping them continue to do the work that they do. So that really is the vision behind the company is to build a company that's not just products, but it's people, it's passion, and it's furthering people in their calling. And if I can be a part of that, it doesn't matter what stage my products are on. It's really the, the lives that it touches and how I can bless other people's lives and how their music can reach other people and bless other people. So it's just being a part of that whole conversation is the reward for me. And it's starting to really pay off for us. And it's, it's becoming what I and Juan and Nigel hoped that it could be. If you had a lineup of products, where do we fit? I think we're definitely a very high end product. Um, and what we try to do, I try to always walk that line between usability and interesting. Like our products do a lot more than a lot of people's products will do, but I don't demand that you have to have a manual in front of you in order to figure out how to use the product. It, sh it should be very intuitive. You should be able to put the knobs at 12 o'clock and the product should sound good. But if you want to nerd out and find out what's really you know, internal trimmers and different programming modes and that kind of stuff in the software, it's there for you if you want it, but I don't require that you have to walk through that gate in order to find a good sound. So that's really where we are. It's technical, but very accessible. Uh, moving forward with Jackson Audio, we spent a lot of time on what I would call dynamic effects, where they change, you know, the, the dynamics of your sound. The future will be a lot more time-based stuff coming up in 2020 and 2021, certainly. Some of the stuff has never been even attempted in this, in this industry. So yeah, fingers crossed it all goes well, but from, um, from where I see it, the future looks very bright.